all season long I have said this. All right? Even on the NBA show. Christoph Porzingis and Kyle Kuzma are not leaving the Washington Wizards. A. Nobody can pay them as much as the Wizards. B. Nobody gives them the market, like the market ability and the franchise cornerstone. Like Kyle Kuzma, Christoph Porzingis, nobody else is going to be making bobblehead nights and using them on you know posters and basically saying that they're the franchise cornerstones third nobody's gonna give them the touches you know this is arguably the second best if not the best season of Christoph Porzingis's career nobody else in the league at this point is gonna give Porzingis or Kuzma the touches that they've been getting here in Washington where they could be potential all-star or even all NBA players this is why we're hearing reports from Sean Sarania today that Porzingis and the Wizards have been seriously discussing a new deal in which he would opt out of his $36 million player option for the 23-24 season and sign a new long-term deal, those sources say. The Wizards, who have dealt with a variety of injuries and setbacks this season, are currently 34-42, 11th place in the Eastern Conference. They have, to, they have to make decisions on the future of Porzingis and forward Kyle Kuzma. The Wizards are allegedly... A, you know, a allegedly able to offer Porzingis Max a four year, $190 million if he opts out next year and extends his deal. The deadline to reach such an agreement is late June. Because of the salary limitations imposed by the collective bargaining agreement on veteran contract extensions, Kuzma's on track to decline his $13 million player option for the 23-24 season and become unrestricted free agent. However, there's mutual interest on both sides to get a new deal done as Kyle Kuzma loves the area where he lives. And Kyle Kuzma and Christoph Porzingis have both said they've loved where they live and love how DC and just how they work together. And Porzingis has averaged 23.2 points, 8.5 rebounds, 2.7 assists, 1.5 blocks over 65 games this season. All right, basically half of that's all career high as well. Same thing with Kuzma, 21.2 points, 7.2 rebounds, and 3.7 assists. And, yeah, I think this is something that people are definitely overlooking. I don't know why, but look, Porzingis and Kristaps, Christoph Porzingis and Kyle Kuzma are going to stay. And I just think us getting this information on a night like today is just further hammering the home the point that this is definitely what we want. So I want to hear you guys' thoughts down below. Do you guys agree with me? It's ecstatic to hear that these guys are potentially being resigned. Because we need to build. We need these three guys. Having these three guys will entice players to come play basketball here. The big problem we have. Not enough guys are coming here to play basketball. And uh, that ain't good. So for me, I think we just need to look at the situation and just be grateful that we aren't being put in that. Now... I mean, yeah, I think it just goes to show, like, yeah, we're a middle of the pack team, but we need our guys. We need our guys. Because we need to entice people to come here. And if we have Porzingis and Kyle Kuzma, it's easier to entice people to come play basketball in D.C. Because we have three cornerstones instead of just Bradley Beal. And I've said it before. I mean, Denny Abdi, I could take off next year. You could all work out. You never know. You never know. But that's where I think I'm going to leave it for you guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all that good jazz. I'm going to have a good day. But I hope you guys do too. Because, you know, it's not always the most ideal thing in the world. Just sitting around. I still can't believe, you know, it's felt like forever since Porzingis came, but at the same time, I understand that it hasn't been, so let me know. I'll leave it. Goodbye, everybody. I hope you have a great day. And I'm done. Bye. Bye-bye.
<laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs>